you. Easy. Big. Small. See, when you say big. Bishal Sarkar here. I've been training on public speaking for the last 14 years and today what I want to do is I want to give you the six negative consequences of waiting to join the right public speaking program to waiting for you to master your public speaking skills. Okay. Number one negative impact is that people will see you as an average speaker. Now if you are a leader, any kind of leader, the thing is if you're a corporate leader or a business leader, your reputation is important if you think about it, right? Like, so what people think about you is in terms of reputation is important. So do you really want people to see you as an average speaker? No, then join the right public speaking course today. Consequence number two is that you have a lot of ideas, but you will always struggle to share. See, your ideas are useless if you don't know how to actually communicate and utilize so as a leader whether you are from the technical background you are already a senior manager or you are like many of my client CEOs um, I want you to understand that struggling with your ideas is no fun so do not struggle with your ideas we have been struggling a lot finding the right mentor but the connection I made with him is I never had that connection with anyone anyone and that I always tell him. consequence number three is that people below you will very soon become your boss because they are communicating at a powerful level when you are failing to communicate at a powerful level. Does that make sense to you? Consequence number four is that you are aging. Have you realized that when you look yourself in the mirror, you see that you're aging? You're, you're aging, you're never gonna go back in age. So you're aging and as you age, do you want to be seen as a wise and powerful speaker or do you want to be seen as an old and outdated speaker? That's consequence number four. Consequence number five is that if you never master public speaking, you will never, ever, ever get the respect that you deserve from your family, from your kids, from your spouse, and from your team, and from all the people who need to hear your message. They will never give you the respect that you deserve. And consequence number six is that you can never achieve financial freedom without being a powerful speaker. If you look around in the society, all the people who are the multi, multi, multi millionaires, they have mastered the art of influential communication. And guess what? This is the sixth consequence of not having the financial freedom. Now, if you really want to impact your communication skills, if you want to really master your voice, if you want to really master your impromptu speaking skills, if you want to master your body language, for example, I can say, uh, hey, how are you? Or I can say, hey, how are you? See the difference? In one way, I'm saying in a very boring way. In the second way, I'm saying in a very interesting way. If you want to master these nuances in a very practical manner, there are a lot of people who are selling courses today. They are giving you access to some recorded things and, and you are watching the recording and the videos and there is nobody to actually support you there. We don't do shit like that. If you want a practical advice and you can, at the end of the video, you can see some of the testimonials of people who really have transformed their lives. And if you want to get the best and the brightest and the finest speaker training so that you can shine as a speaker call the number on the screen that you see right now and join our public speaking course uh, if you have an opportunity to get one of the spots because our courses sell out very very fast the reason for that is because we only work with people who are serious and we give you the most practical tangible skills that you can use for the rest of your life to make it the best of your life Bishal Sarkar here reminding you don't be average as a speaker because public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection. So, Bish, what was your biggest problem? Yeah, so uh, I made a family tree basically. So, you know, family tree I was planning for a long time to make a family tree with uh, my wife's parents and my parents, like, you know, till the children. So, through wooden pieces, we are made. So I just engraved it and made some design on it and then just now just now only I pasted it behind. So my daughter was seeing and she was quite amazed with that. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing with us. Anything else you wanted to say? So uh, yeah, I mean few wins like uh, apart from that I got like two speaking engagements like in the sense that uh, the company has approached me. So now Wait, I no, hold on, hold on. Two two speaking engagements? Yeah, in the sense that company has approached me, so they told me to uh, prepare a, a kind of a, a presentation and uh, basic in terms of productivity. Uh, nice. So, yeah, so that is it. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that was a good win for me as well. Good job.
So contouring the family front and the career front. That's Rocky. Thank you for this. I enjoyed productivity and uh, of course the first uh, role play is excellent. And in fact, practically I have used that. If you remember our pro, our role play, I remember. I used, it, I used that one, and of course I I got six clients in last week, and I, I left one. And I left one. Clap it up! I, clap it up for Kanan. <laughs> Amazing. And I left one. If you remember that in our in, in the personal call, you said that sometimes it's the fear we have to leave someone. So I left one. Which is consuming more time for my uh, regular day. So I leave them. I leave them, and I got six more. Life is too short for bad clients and cheap wine. Yes, <laughs> this is the same. <laughs> I don't take wine though, but yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So you use the techniques, and you got six yes. clients last week. Yes. Yep. So Bishal uh, knows what he's doing, and he has a very uh, clarity of the thought, uh, and he knows what is needed for an each individual. Uh, the complete program was uh, really amazing. The way it has been, uh, it has been made, and it has been prepared. It really helps individual, individually. The specific thing what I want to say is, each and everyone will get. The benefit out of it. Each and every one get we will get value of it. Before attending this program, I was not confident enough. When I say the confident enough, I didn't choose to believe in myself. The value I got from this program is hundred times, hundred x. And even if I, if, even I paid, even if I could pay hundred times more, I would be satisfied.